So, we're away now for four three-minute rounds. Tim Ventrella, Nottingham based, against the undefeated prospect Carol Itauma, former youth Olympic gold medalist. And you would think likely to be possibly a class too much for Tim Ventrella. We'll see. I certainly liked what I've seen from Itauma early in his career, John, only the two fights, but very, very well skilled. I remember him coming up to GB in the amateurs and uh, looking very good on some of the squads that we ran up there. Decided to turn professional, and that's up to him. But yeah, he's, he's been very well schooled, good skills, and winning that Olympic title um, at youth level. And trained, he did very well indeed. Trained as a financial advisor, Carol Itauma, already bought his own property, and I'm sure if he does make a few quid out of this sport, he'll know exactly what to do with it. A bit like you. <laughs> I wish. Good left hand and another one again. And uh, Ventrella is struggling a little bit here, gets caught again. Good one two, he's working well with his jab, but it's the straight left hand that's doing the job for the time. Itauma, who was born in Slovakia, moved to UK at the age of seven. Got his British passport three years ago. Based in Chatham down in Kent. And Trella not really getting to him at all as yet. Experiencing a lot of problems, typical problems that are. Orthodox boxer faces against the side port. It's a little bit too far away there. Just throwing that jab, he sees way too far out. He's got to get closer and then try and not only land the jab but the straight right hand. But there's too much of a gap between him and the Tama. And the Tama's just measuring that gap with that jab and that front foot and just closing the gap down. He knows when to punch the Tama. It's all set up again behind the jab. And as you can see, he's a well-schooled um, boxer. Yeah, he looks sharp, doesn't he? And he's got the right sort of, right sort of physique for a light heavyweight as well. Stands six foot one, and he uses that reach advantage well, and good variety in his punches. Yeah, back in Ventrella into the corner, and then just switching the attack downstairs also. But Ventrella's ring craft is very poor. Keeps going from corner to corner. And that just restricts his movement and um, just invites pressure basically when you're backed up into a corner. Look, he's back into this corner now, you see. You've just got to be taught to not to do that, really. Well, a fairly one sided opening round. Carol Itauma in his third professional fight, dominating and taking the opening round. Welcome back to the Royal Albert Hall. Lovely to be able to say that in front of a live audience, although not being sold to capacity tonight. But there's, I guess, around about a thousand people in here this evening, something like that. And it's good to have a, a live audience appreciating the boxing in this most magnificent of boxing venues, as you heard, now 150 years old. Yeah, it's great, isn't it, just to have the, the crowd back, John. Did you have a fight here, Richard? Yeah, I did. I think it was my second or my third contest. I actually fought here. And I always remember the supporters that I brought down with me, they were, they were in the cheap seats, as you could say. They were <laughs> way up, because as you look from the ring, I mean, the, it, it, there's some seating way above the ring, isn't there? And they were sort of up there in the gods, so to speak. So, yeah, I always remember my supporters shouting down at me. But, yeah, it's a fantastic... It's my favourite venue. Royal Albert Hall, it's iconic. Right, Always back. feels so close to the action. We're broadcasting from a position not too far away from where Paul Dempsey was doing the introductions for you. 
We're up there on the stage, so I guess maybe 15 metres or so away from the, from the ring itself, but still get a, a glorious view of the action. Referee just telling Tim Ventrella to tidy up the action. Kevin Henshaw, his trainer, maybe has just told him, get in there, rough him up, make it a brawl. Yeah, he's actually been switching from orthodox to southpaw and um, thrown a few shots as Ventrella. That's a classic mistake there. Just launches the right hand too far out, falls short, falls in. You can't afford to make those mistakes against Itama. It's better from Itama, lovely sharp shots. Picks his punch as well. Yeah, keeps a nice shape, doesn't he? He just gets back to his boxing and pops out the jab again to set things up. So that's good. He keeps that gap between himself and his opponent, which is very important, so he's not falling in. As such, he's just measuring the distance and gap and then punching through that. Walked into a decent right hand from Ventrella there, though, but just blinked and shook it off and continues to apply the pressure. Putting his man in the corner once again, and here he comes trying to deliver some more power shots. Ventrella doing pretty well just to tie him up, stifle the attack, but here comes Itama again. Oh, big shot, big left hand, and down he goes. Lovely combination there from Itama. Keeps Ventrella on the road for three, two or three good shots, then finishes it. The referee's going to call out, and rightly so. Well, when he got the chance, he finished that one so well. It was a big left hand that caused the damage, but once he got his man under pressure, my goodness, he really did step in. OK, Ventrellas are not a top-level fighter by no means, but you can only beat what's in front of you, and Carol Itama, when he got the opportunity, took it brilliantly. Yeah, he did it very well, didn't he? He got his opponent on the ropes, worked well with his jab and his straight left hand just as they break away from this clinch here. So there's that, there's a good left hand and another one. Then he realises he's got his opponent in trouble and then he finishes the job off with some accurate punches that went in there, John. Let's have a look at it again. Left hand coming up, here it is here, good shot there. Knows he's got his opponent in trouble, hits him with another good left hand. Jab there, just misses the target, but the left hand again follows through and the final sort of left uppercut from left hook, if you like, finishes the job. Well done indeed. Third professional outing, third professional outing. And still winning once more. Meanwhile, Tim Ventrella getting a little bit of assistance in the corner. Recovering OK, but he's just uh, got the medical man taking a look, just making sure that everything's all right. But he's back on his feet, as you can see. And so a good night's work completed for Carol Itauma. And in a moment or two, we can get the formal announcement of the result from our Master of Ceremonies tonight, Thomas Triber. The two fighters now being beckoned centre ring, and Thomas can take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Your winner by technical countdown, and still undefeated, Carol Itauma.